Good afternoon, YouTube. I just wanted to make a video um, talking about the pros and cons of having carpet versus pros and cons of having hardwood floor versus pros and cons of having vinyl and flooring. I'm going to um, take you guys into my family room. I should have already had the light one, but I didn't. But, um... I came downstairs and I saw a spot and of course I didn't record what I saw because I was so mad that I saw it but my eyes been running it looked like I haven't washed my face but I, I did not record the spot but I'm going to show you what the spot is and apparently it looks like my dog has been throwing up my house is about maybe 75% carpet and the rest is hardwood. So I'll show you. That spot right there is basically what I had to clean up. I cleaned that up today. Um, I'm getting sick of doing it. I've been using a solution with baking soda and vinegar along with water. Well, last week, the same thing happened. I was on my way down the steps and what I saw was these two huge yellow stains on my landing. I'm going up the steps right now and I'm gonna show you how I had to clean it up. Um, I did not think of filming this video before, but this is the carpet. And again, like my, my dog, she's been throwing up. I think she has too many stuffed animal toys out. And it's maybe from the fur. It's just causing her to cough and throw up. They're not pee stains. They're stains from her, like, throwing up. So... If you have allergies and if you if your home is full of carpet, you have to keep it clean, more cleaner than the average person that would clean their carpet. And it can be pricey and it can be quite annoying. It has also caused my family to invest in really, really, really good uh, vacuum systems like the Dyson. So... Um, because that's also supposed to take the dust out as well. But I'm just like really over it because it's causing more work for me than what I would like to be doing. So carpet is mainly for warmth. If you love warmth and if you love feeling, you know, um, plushness under your feet, then go with carpet. Aesthetically, look-wise, hardwood floors, they're beautiful. But there's problems with them, too. It's a lot of work to keep them looking shiny. There's a lot of work of keeping them um, from getting scratched. So you have to be very, very, very particular in um, what you sitting on your floors, uh, like pennies, like things, like just little things that can be hard if someone's walking on a your hardwood floor uh, with those little hard surfaces, it will cause scratches. Um, all of your furniture, it has to have uh, furniture pads underneath to keep your hardwood from getting scratched up. Vinyl and flooring. I have some of that too. I have the vinyl, vinyl and flooring inside of my daughter's bathroom. And I also have it in my laundry room. I don't really notice too much of a problem um, with that. Like, I'm not, I don't wash in her bathroom, so I wouldn't know. But one thing I would notice is that um, she does her hair a lot at home. And when she's spraying, like, oils and things like that, it collects on the floor. And it can be very, very, very slippery. So, I like to spray a little bit of alcohol on the floor and then have her... Um, clean her floors so that it's not so slippery. I have noticed that in the laundry room I don't really notice too much of a problem or anything That's really not like a a place where is um, Where is high volume um, 
in an action, really, because basically when you come into my home, your shoes are off. So if you upstairs, your shoes are off. You are not in the area with shoes on. But yeah, there's pros and cons to everything. Um, I would not say one is much better than the other. I probably would prefer like the area that I'm in right now is my foyer area where my Christmas tree is. And this is also a room that is um, carpeted. And also, so is my formal dining room. It's carpet. And my family room is carpet. But the out hallway for your area, my coat room, um, my potter room, and my kitchen, and then my breakfast room, all of that is hardwood. And like I said, it is a really big job to keep it clean. My husband, he, he cleans the wood um, on Sundays, and I do my carpets on Sundays and Thursdays. And yesterday, I didn't do it, so today is Friday, and I did it. And I was off today, and when I went into the family room, I saw another stain, and the stain... It more than likely had to come from my dog throwing up. It wasn't pee. It looked kind of like greenish. Um, it looked like if somebody tried to clean it with Dawn. So I asked my daughter, did she notice it? And I had to call my husband and ask him whether if he noticed. But yeah, it's just a, it's a bit of a task with, um, I guess, having a home and knowing the difference between carpet, vinyl linen, and hardwood flooring. And there are pros and cons to each and every one of them. Um, more so, I would probably say... The least kind would be the vinyl and flooring, but again, I don't have that in high volume areas of my home. So I know vinyl and flooring is the cheaper version, um, is the more affordable consumer version. Um, but I want to also say that's the least one that I, I know any information about. So yeah, I just thought I would make a little bit, a little video about that. Um, I have 21 subscribers now. I'm not sure who the people are, but post a comment and ask me what type of videos you guys would like to see. And if I can make those videos, I will put them out there and start doing them. Um, I do have a lot of other things to talk about, but I really don't know who the audience is on here for me to do that. So I kind of hold back some and my videos are real raw and unedited. I don't edit. I don't have the time for that kind of stuff. I just put out basic stuff that's happening that goes on in my life so that's all